there, Empowered Peeps. I'm Ryan to the rescue. Has your house shifted a little bit and because of that, your door doesn't latch all of the way? Well, same. Check this out. It doesn't latch. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to fix. Let me show you how. There's a pre-manufactured product that is made just for this purpose and it's called a hinge shim. There's lots inside this package and when you take one out, it actually makes three. So you break it apart like this. And then you have three different pieces that you can use. And you can stack them up if need be, like this, and then it makes the shim even wider. You can use one, two, three, or however many you need to fix your problem. So let me show you up close what we're dealing with here. If you have cracks in your door frame or in your walls, then that's a good indication that you have some shifting in your foundation. Now here on the left of the door is the gap. And you can see how big and wide it is at the top. And then as I go down the door, the gap gets smaller and smaller until I get all the way down to the bottom and there's literally no gap at all. The wood is just pressed together. So that's the left side of the door. Now let's take a look at the right side of the door. There's a very small gap at the top and then as we go down, the gap gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it's quite large at the bottom. So that's what we're going to fix. And as you can see right here, this does not line up anymore. So it doesn't connect. If I manually lift it up, it'll click into place. So from that information, I can see that the door needs to be shifted this way. Therefore, I'm going to start out by putting one shim right there. If that doesn't shift the door enough, then I'm going to put two shims in the bottom and one shim in the middle. So let's get started with the bottom and see if that fixes it. So what we do is we open up the door. Oh, there's my puppies. <laughs> and then we are going to loosen this hinge right here at the bottom. The side of the hinge that is attached to the door frame is the one that you want to loosen. And you don't even have to take it all the way off. You can just loosen it up enough to slide the shim in. So let's get those screws loosened up. Now we need to go around to the other side of the door and slide the shim right in here. Come with me. So now we're on the other side of the door. And this is the shim. It already has holes in it since it's manufactured specifically for this use. So I'm going to slide this right in here and then push it in a little bit with the screwdriver. All right, it's perfectly in place. Now let's tighten that up and see if that fixed the problem. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if the latch connects now. Oh, still not quite right. So now I'm going to put in one shim in the middle and two shims in the bottom. We already have one in there, so now it's gonna be one here and then one more there. All right, let's go get that done. Okay, time for the moment of truth again. Let's see if it latches now. Yes! Yeehaw! Perfect, it sticks into place just as it should. Let's take a look at those gaps too and see if they look better, shall we? Okay, here's the left side of the door. It's a smaller gap at the top and it stays relatively even and consistent all the way down to the bottom. Looks about the same. Fantastic. Here's the right side of the door. 
Previously, it was small at the top and then bigger at the bottom. And now it looks very even throughout the whole door. Perfect. Now let's take a close look at that latch. Perfect. That's why we do what we do. All right, well that was a very successful and simple fix. Now you know that if you have a door that's uneven, if the gaps are not quite right, or if the latch is not working quite right, all you have to do is grab a package of these shims and have a drill driver, and you can totally fix that. We can do it.